is the difference between purifying the air and naturalizing the air. Maybe the difference between our old product and the new. Well, when you talk about purifying the air, what you're thinking about is that you're removing things from the air, that there's things in the air that shouldn't be there, and by getting them out, then you make the air better. It's just one of the kind of logical things. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we've discovered is that that is not necessarily the whole answer, uh, that you can clean the air and clean the air and clean the air, and still it is not really good, healthy air. Uh, we've, we've been going down that path, as many, many people have for years, believing that if you just somehow get that last little thing out of the air, mm -hmm. all of our problems will go away. And the truth of the matter is that what we really need to have is fresh air. And what we have to have then is the difference between fresh air and clean air and purified air kind of all made sense. Right. Outdoor air, believe it or not, as healthy as it is, is not that clean. There's yeah. a lot of stuff in outdoor air. But one of the things that's in outdoor air that is not in indoor air is energy. Mm -hmm. And that energy we discovered is the difference between healthy air and unhealthy air. So our product goes beyond purification. It goes beyond cleaning because we do do that mm -hmm. uh, just as fresh air does clean itself. Right. But on top of that, we leave the energy in the air and that energy in the air produces all kinds of healthy effects. So it is very much like being able to live your life mostly outdoors like your body was really intended to live in that outdoor environment. Right. And so we get a lot of health effects. We get a lot of, of quality of life effects, all because we're now in, in energized air, air that's been restored to its natural fresh air. Mm -hmm. And I've heard you say that before, like uh, the difference between uh, uh, comparing this to cleaning water. Sometimes when, we, when people clean water, they strip everything out, and that's not necessarily a good thing. It's, it's technically cleaner, but it's not necessarily better for you. You're right. Uh, uh, the reference I usually use is to distilled water. Mm -hmm. If anybody's ever drank distilled water, you know it's not really the greatest thing to drink. Mm -hmm. It won't kill you, uh, and, but it really is not what we need. It doesn't really hydrate you the way it should. Well, the same thing is true with fresh air. That freshness in the air, the energized elements that are in the air, are absolutely vital to our defense system. It's it, what makes uh, it's what makes us healthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, it sneak, kind of sneaks up on you a little bit because our body systems are so well designed that you can be in really horrible air for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. But if we're in really kind of sort of bad air for a long period of time, we start to develop sensitivities to it. We start, our body has to start compensating for it. Uh, we start getting things trapped in our system that shouldn't be there that are not there outdoors. Mm -hmm. And as a result, we become more and more sensitive to our environment. We start taking pills, we start medicating, and then the quality of life goes down. And really all we needed to do was to go back outside and right. be in fresh air some more. Right. And that's a, that's a, it's a simple, it's a simple sounding concept. And, and we try in a lot of our materials to simplify it because really that's all it is, is going outside where that energized air is and your body can react um, uh, and, and interact with energized air. Um, but that's, that's not necessarily an easy thing to do. Obviously, it's, it took a while for, uh, for, I would say us, but really you, to um, develop and really, um, I guess, think about fully. We, you know, we started with a product that, that um, worked on one aspect of the air, and that was great. But this is kind of uh, involves everything. Exactly right. And because we're raising the energy level in its totality, we're raising all of the energies of all the ingredients up, uh, then we really get the benefits with not exactly knowing why sometimes, mm -hmm. because indoor air chemistry is horribly complex. So there's thousands and thousands of things that are reacting with each other. And to try to do a chemistry analysis of it will drive you crazy. After right. you get to about three or four or five or ten items, you can't figure out how they're going to react. But when we step back from the process a little bit and say, you know, the bodies that we have were designed for that outdoor environment. And the closer we can make that outdoor environment to our indoor environment, logic says the better off we're going to be. Mm -hmm. And as, as, simple, as simple as that sounds, 
uh, that is, that's an amazing, profound discovery to make that, hey, it's our problem. We moved indoors, and all of a sudden we've got all these illnesses and all these problems that we never had before. Right, right. And sometimes we're just, we're, t we're, we're dealing with the symptoms and not necessarily the, the cure overall. And abs that's absolutely true. And sometimes uh, it, it starts to be a path that you keep going deeper and deeper and deeper into because you start having to take medications to compensate for the side effects of medications. Right. And it's just right. a never-ending trail. Right. And, and sometimes the answer is so simple that, uh, and sometimes it, it occurs to people accidentally. I know many people that have just gotten so sick and finally they took a vacation and went up into the mountains for a mm -hmm. month and all of a sudden they're sleeping, they're feeling better, they're not snoring anymore, they're healthy, they have energy and they're going, what drug did I take? Right. Well, you didn't take a drug, you took fresh air. Right, right.